You made a, a bunch of big plays on Monday, interception included. Where do you feel like you've grown the most as a player between your rookie season and where you are now? Um, just more so just understanding the defense itself, um, knowing where I got to be, knowing where other players got to be. All right, let's go to Karen Kornacki. Go ahead, Karen. Hi. Hey, um, you guys have done great in all the safety protocols. I, Tyreek was just telling us how he's wearing double masks now. He's got visor and a mask and stuff. But how concerned are you when you see like a DB from another team, knowing you guys get face to face with these receivers or fighting on the ground for a fumble recovery? Is there some concern that you can't control what other teams do? And so there's always that threat out there. Does that bother you? I mean, don't get me wrong. We're all humans at the end of the day. So, you know, viruses and other things that can attack our body and my body is is a concern at the end of the day. Um, it is a health issue, but um, at the end of the day, you, you just got to trust what you signed up for and trust the protocols uh, uh, aligned with the job and the regular health uh, issues aligned to it. So, I mean, you just got to trust it and, and stay prayed up at this time and got to take care of the rest. Go next to Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Rashad, uh, what was it like having, uh, I know you guys haven't practiced yet, but, but having Breland, uh, Rashad Breland back in the building and a number of those plays you made against New England, including the interception, do you feel like you necessarily would have made those plays last season? Um, you know what I mean? Uh, it's great having Rashad back. He, he brings a lot of the energy back. You know, he's another vet along with the Honey Badger and Dan on, on the defensive course. So, you know, it's, it's great because I'm a cornerback, so he brings the 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 years into the DB room and uh, it's great to have him back. You know he got it picking the Super Bowl man. The whole team loves to have him back. Um, but last year uh, I would have been playing nickel back, so it's hard to say if I would have been able to make the same plays at corner. But um, who knows? I'm not sure if I would have been able to or if I wouldn't have. Go next to Matt Derrick. Go ahead, Matt. Hey Rashad, with the with the suspension to Breland and, and the injuries, you've gotten maybe a lot more opportunities than you might have been expecting um, the last few weeks. How important was it to you to take this playing time that you're getting and making the most of it and trying to show that, hey, you know what, you deserve more playing time. Maybe you deserve being a starter. Um, you know, as a six round guy, you know, you you, you label it as just a special team guy. Uh, you know, the it's the game of the football. Next man up, uh, I was I mean, it's a gift and a curse, of course, but I was blessed to able to get more playing time, like you said. And uh, it, it, it just feels good knowing that you can, when your number's called and you have a job to do, it feel, just feels good that you're able to get the job done at an exceptional level as the starters would. And, uh, you know, um, it just feels good. Let's connect to Seren Petro. Go ahead, Seren. Uh, what, what, Rashad, just... You know, I know you talked a little bit about last year playing kind of a different slot, but just all around in your game, what what do you know more now? Like, what what's what knowledge have you gained uh, that that's helped you and that's made you more comfortable and more confident that you know you didn't have or, as as a rookie? Um, like I said, um, just being able to understand the defense a little bit more that was uh, my biggest objective last year. This year, I, I, I know it and I know more positions and I know what other people are doing. Um, you know what I mean? Also, last year I was so focused on knowing the defense, um, I could rarely, if slim to some, really get an understanding of the offense because I was too busy worrying about what I had to do as my job first. But um, this year I'm able, since I know the defense, to pick apart the offense a little bit more, just learn a little bit more tendencies um, and, and kind of understand that a little bit more. That's, that, 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 that's just the most I was able to probably do from this year and last year. Looks like we've got one more hand up. Let's go last to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. I guess I'll stay on theme. So you played a lot more inside last year and, and through four weeks, you have a ton more outside experience this year. I was wondering if you could compare the two, the nickelback and then the outside, and then why, what you're more comfortable at and why. Um, you know, at nickelback, you, 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 you're basically a, a linebacker and a, a defensive back. You know, you got to, at nickelback, you got to understand more, um, Offensive fronts, offensive run game. Uh, don't get me wrong, you're a defensive guy. You have to worry about run and pass always, of course. But at the nickelback, you're kind of in the mix of the seven-man front, seven-man run game. So um, it, it's just that aspect of you really 50-50 at nickelback. Um, at corner, like I said, you are a defensive player, so you have to worry about the run as well. But 
it's a difference when you're on that island and you kind of, <laughs> you know what I mean, some yards apart from the nearest tackle or quarterback and fullback. So, um, you know, you you you, you lean a, towards the, the pass game a lot more when you're at cornerback. You know what I mean? You kind of just read the tendencies of the receiver and he'll give you run a pass, but kind of deal with that receiver more. Um, uh, to be honest with you, uh, I'm a defensive back. Um, wherever a coach want me to play, I can play safety. I can play nickelback. I can play corner. Wherever my number needs to be called that, um, I'm going to be ready to go. And that's just what it comes down to. Rashad, we appreciate the time today. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate y'all.